Juliet is joining us from St. Mark. Some time at Queenswood in the Hawke's Bay. I am actually from England, Miss Stewart. You should have written that. I'm going to change the colour, make it a bit darker. Again. But where's Pauline? Oh, I haven't gotten round to drawing her yet. I was going to pop her on a rock, but I seem to have run out of room, Mrs. Collins. But I've actually drawn St. George in the likeness of the world's greatest tenor, Mario Lanza. Yes, I set you a topic. I expect you to follow it. Now put that down and start again. Impressive. Can I touch it? I've got scars. They're on my lungs. I spent months in bed during the war, ravaged by respiratory illness. It's, it's all frightfully romantic. To Go away. We're not playing anymore. Go on. And I'm going into your bedroom to break every one of your toys. Oh. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Of course it matters. It's Mario. Don't. Please. Paul. Oh. <laughs> Daddy says the Bible's a load of bunkum. I'm not. I'm going to the fourth world. It's sort of like heaven. <laughs> Only better, because there aren't any Christians. It's an absolute paradise of music, art, and pure enjoyment. James will be there, and Mario. Only they'll be saints. This. That. Hello, Mrs. Reaper. It's so nice to meet you. Blazing fury! Charles runs Lancelot Trelawney through with his sword. Well, actually, Mummy's left that program now. She's far too busy with the Marriage Guidance Council. Oh, no, Mummy's awfully good at it. Yvonne? I adore anything to do with the arts. <laughs> oh, are you a carpenter, Mr. Reaper? Breakfast is between seven and nine. Actually, Mr. Reaper, it's a novel, and we'll be sending it to New York. How much is that dog in the window? <laughs> Something you wouldn't understand. We're calling him to yellow. Paul thought it up. <laughs> My daughter. Numbers. You're not going, are you, Mummy? But I should go too. Put on your shoes, Jonathan! <laughs> Look, Paul! Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty flat. Come with me. Come on. Come on. But we only realized it on the day of the death of Christ. The clouds, everything was full of this, we thought. We have an extra part of our brain, which can. difficulty fending off her husband who tries to have his way with her morning noon and night 
However, his problem is her renegade child, Diello, who has proven to be an uncontrollable little blighter who slaughters his nannies with your idea of a joke. No, Mrs. Stevens. I suppose you think it witty and clever to mock the royal family with this rubbish. I understand why you are so upset, Mrs. Stevens. I merely wrote an essay on the royal family as requested. Get down! To your seat. <coughs> And you can carry on with your studies. Why do you convalesce? Drive by in no time. My dear Charles, I miss you and adore you in equal amounts and long for the day that we will be reunited. But as I languish here in this house of disease to the problem of our son, although only 10, Diello has thus far killed 50... Juliet. Hello. We bought you some fruit. They sent me off to the Bahamas for the good of my health. They sent me off to the Bay of Bloody Islands for the good of my health. How do you know? Did he tell you? Is that why you haven't replied to my last letter? They are living among two dutiful daughters, these lovely two, with that adoring love known to so few. One must feel that two such heavenly creatures are real, both sets of eyes so different far. Mystery strange, impassively. They... It's all arranged. We don't need your bloody hundred pounds anyway, so Stick it up your bottom! <sighs> that chest of yours isn't getting any better. A warmer climate is just what you need. <laughs> cry, Gina. Oh, Gina, please don't cry. We're not going to be separated. We're not. <laughs> Spent a hectic night going through the saints. It was wonderful, heavenly, beautiful, and ours. We felt satisfied indeed. We have now learned the peace of the thing called bliss, the joy of the thing called sin. Idea for the day was to moil a mother. <sighs> Only the best people fight against all obstacles in pursuit of happiness. Juliet. Oh. Hot 
them in a bowl. Oh, do you feel all sweaty? Oh, I feel sweaty. It's thermal underwear. <laughs> I've been putting the tint in the middle of the bedroom and I have to pretend to be on a mountain.